Hi, I'm Steve Collison from filmsetgeek.com and I'm joined today by David Zich from Axis Grip Budapest, Hungary. Welcome, David. Hi, Steve. And today we're going to be unpacking the box with a Free Fly Movie Pro, uh, the latest in the range of camera stabilization systems from Free Fly. Exactly. And uh, with a retail value of around about $6,500. Is that yeah, right? Yeah, I think that's the correct price. <laughs> All right, so let's get started. Okay. So this has been freshly delivered, and uh, so we're un unpacking it for the first time. And well, there's nothing like unpacking a newly uh, purchased piece of kit, but today we want to see what you get in the box and how all the bits and pieces are used and come together to create the Movie Pro. <laughs> What have, what have we got in here? Okay, first we have a small uh, accessory bag with uh, the carbon tubes for the iris and focus co uh, control motors. Okay. We have cables, screws and everything just to have the camera set up. We have two free fly um, hexa screws, screwdrivers. Okay. Yeah. We have like stickers and everything what we need to have. And here is the Movie Pro. Excellent. Now, what we can find here, we have two chargers. Okay, let's, bring, let's pull those out. Just standard, and they have their own bespoke batteries that come with the Movie Pro, their own yeah. battery system. Yeah, these yeah. are here. Okay. Smart let's batteries. Put those down there. Very good. We have the two batteries. Basically, this is one set. So, for, for operation, you need to have two on the Movie. Got it, at all times. Yeah, yeah. these are smart batteries, so Brilliant. you have a, a charging indicator on it, yeah. and you can only charge with the factory charger. Uh, and this is the main piece itself, Yeah, exactly. Right? This is the, the gimbal or the camera head, uh, how they usually call it itself. Yeah. Like this. Yeah. Very good. And so, and explain then, how does this connect with okay. the, 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 <laughs> the camera equipment and how, how might it ke uh, connect with any rigs that you're connecting it to? Basically, uh, the, the physical connection yeah. uh, for all of the other rigs that we use yeah. is made by, with the toad in the whole system. Okay. I think this is one of the greatest designs from Freefly. Great. The original. So it all connects up here. So yeah. when we have the ring ready, it's in the box, uh, yeah. you will see how, how will it goes on. Yeah. Uh, basically, it's a, it's a snap-on yeah. thing, and then you have a safety uh, clamp here, and that's it. That's Got how it. you connect it. And then your camera? Where's your, your camera, camera going? Sit? Right here. Yeah. Uh, we have like two places just to have the camera get uh, a stable. You mm -hmm. have a, a plate, camera plate, plate and a stop yeah. plate for the camera, basically. Great. And that's it. Okay, so this is the main part. The last piece. All right, good luck with that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, practice. Oh, ah, you did it. Yeah. You did it. Okay. Right. Okay. This one is the ring. Okay. The movie ring. Yeah. It's a new design. It's bigger than the old one. Yeah. It's smarter than the old one. Yeah. And my favorite part are the little feet oh, okay. uh, of the of the ring. So you can like when you have the whole uh, rig set up for work and yeah. uh, you don't have that that thing where you can hang the movie on. Yes. Now you can just put it on the floor, put yeah. it on a table, put it on a mag liner, whatever, yeah. and, and it will stay there. I'll this let you is do the it. Ring. So that's the ring. And as I understand, this is super strong, right? You yeah, can, it's, you can it's jump carbon on fiber. This. It's a 35 millimeter carbon fiber. Great. And all of the bits and pieces in here are just part of, just the, part the, of the ring. ring. Exactly. They're extra, uh, extra snap on parts. Yeah. The, the, the handle that goes the on top. The handle bar goes here. You, got you the, have the, the screws these for These are the two feet. Yeah. And this is a tape. Yeah. For the Basically grip, for, for the grips, for the grip. yeah. Okay. You have the, the grip handles here and yeah. you need to like uh, have the way. straps on it. Okay. Yeah, the, that part what we really, really not using You don't right use now. too much. Yeah. Right. Uh, this is the Mimic. Yeah. The Mimic itself is a really, really good idea for those who are not really familiar how to control a camera head with, with a, a wheels gear head mm -hmm. or, or a transmitter or or a movie controller. Yeah. Uh, it's an it's an easy way to control your movie by the no, it goes here actually mm -hmm. like this. Okay, uh, let me just move this around. Like this this. Right? Okay. So essentially what what happens here is I move this around and the gimbal mimics, uh, mimics every single exactly. every movement, every motion. E exactly. So if I want to control wh where the camera is positioned, where it's pointing, then this is this is one of the exactly. one of the options that you have. Yeah. So then let's just pull the 
pull the the the, 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 um, the gimbal out itself again. So how, how big a difference is there from this fr versus the previous generation? Basically, it's a really really big jump uh, for for camera control and for the technicians itself. Yeah, and what are the main applications or kit that you attach this to? So you use this with the you, you put this on your dr the drones. Yeah, with first we are using Axis on a drone. Yeah. yeah, we have we have our own uh, heavy lifter drone. Yeah. Uh, then we usually use it uh, handheld. Yeah. Basically on Easy Rig, on Walter Klassen slingshot, or yeah. with the new uh, s uh, Flow Cine Black Arm, we have a new opportunity to put it on everything what moves. Yeah. I mean from cars to trucks to bicycles, everything what can uh, rig uh, a black arm on, you can put the movie on, and it's fantastic. Great. And how long would it take to out of the box to get this configured so that you're ready to use it as a production gimbal? Uh, when you are new to the movie, yeah. uh, then I say when you buy it and you get it, you, you need to have a test day. Yeah. Uh, basically, it's under an hour. You need to like uh, refresh the firmware and, and everything. You need to get to know your gear. Yeah. But when you know it and you go to a, a, a set a shooting location, yeah. Uh, if everything is prepared for a movie, it's be between 15 minutes and 30 minutes. Yeah. If the, the movie technician needs to set the camera up for, for rigging it onto a movie, then maximum an hour. So thank you for that. We've seen how it looks out of the box, yeah. but I believe you've got something to show us yeah, over there, exactly. right? We and have the other movie right here. We've got a fully assembled Movie Pro rig with an, with an, an Alexa an Mini. Alexi Min Alexa Mini and Alexa old school yeah, uh, it's a, lens. It's an Ariflex uh, 17 to 35 zoom lens. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's already balanced. Lots of things is missing. No monitors, no wires, no nothing. I okay. just put the camera on just to show you guys how, how okay. it works. Basically, right now, it's in majestic mode. Yeah. So that means it's a handheld mode right now. Yeah. And okay. it follows your motions. I see. And the whole thing Smooth is fully lock. computerized in terms of it's it's got a brain and it's making all the decisions for you. So any movement, any jolts, it's 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 it's, um, it's uh, basically yes, but it's uh, on the setup. How you set sure, up? Of course, your, of course. Your but your the, the but the, the the fundamentals behind the behind the system is that that's it. It's got it's com it's got a brain. It's got a computer control. Then it compensates for any any movement. You can put it up on a drone. And this is gonna, it, with the right setting, it's gonna compensate and. I, I would say everything on the ground and on a, on a drone. Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah. Good, okay. Then thank you very much indeed, David, for, uh, for showing us the unpacking the box. And uh, thank you for watching. <laughs> <laughs>